The result is there for you to see.
So I've been living with a total stranger for eight years. Since you could do this, who knows how many dark secrets of ours that I don't know? them as serpents.
told you over time to stop being hard on yourself. I am sorry for putting you through this. I know with time all these things will be over. The doctor already told us that in no distant time our problem will be corrected. I know how bad it hurts to see other women with their children and why you can have yours. Six to see another doctor. Because I'm sick and tired of living this way. For crying out loud. Hey, Belle. Calm down. You're walking yourself up for nothing. Yes. It has not gotten to the point of bringing down your roof. Our doctor have always said that we will be fine. Your doctor? Not mine. Your doctor, Anne. For five years plus, this woman has been saying the same thing. Tell me, how do you explain this? This is, this is the second we saw from Texas telling me there's nothing wrong with me. Absolutely nothing is wrong with me. Tell me why you're next. Bell. So, you actually went for a secret test without informing me, your wife? And I'm demanding for another. Both of us. Both of us will see another doctor. Else, I will not be responsible for my actions. Look nervous. Calm yourself down, okay? Everything will be fine. It's a, it's a routine test. Don't worry, the test result will be ready soon. You two just calm yourselves down. <clears throat> you can have whatever you need to drink. We have tea, coffee, soft drinks, whatever you need. Um, doctor, thank you. 
You sure? Yes. Okay. Um. My daughter, I know how it feels to be in a marriage for so many years without a child. It's a road I have traveled. It breaks a woman, soul, and spirit. It takes a lot of strength to go through it. Thank you, Mommy. I appreciate your kind words. For how long? For how long shall I continue to dwell in this desert called barrenness? I have I have frequented this hospital like it's now my second home. Yet yet there is nothing to show for it. Absolutely nothing. Just come down. I'm tired. Even God himself knows that I'm tired. Just calm I'm down. Tired. Calm down. The worst thing you can do to yourself right now is self-pity. Mm -hmm. Continue praying. Someday, God will hear your prayers and bless you with your child. Stop, 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 stop. It's okay. Just calm down. Madam, Madam, yeah, you don't reach you. Let's say problem there for your side though. I bet my money now one five. I tried to stop him, but... It's okay. Shut the door, you went. How dare you burge into my office like that, Mr. Ibn Lukafo? Have you lost your sense of courtesy? You are evil. To what does my courtesy serve to an evil man like you? Tell me. I can't entertain you barge into my office like a common tout to call me names. If you have lost your sense of courtesy and manner of approach, now let me remind you, Mr. Ebel Okafor, that this is Dr. Lucia's office. A civil place. It's either you behave yourself or I get you thrown out. Not until I make you pay for the evil you've committed against me. How can you tell me? How can you connect with my wife to lie to me all these years? How can a little devil of God like you still solo to plan such evil with my wife against me? I don't know what you're talking about. If you are done shouting, you leave my office. Get out. Is that what you said? Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. That is what I 
something. I will make you pay for this. With my lips, I will make you pay for this evil. You know about my wife's condition all these years. Yet, you concealed it. And put the blame on me. If you are done, get out. Get out! Dr. Lucia, I swear with my life, I will make you beg for your life. I will make you suffer for this. By the time I am through with you, you will beg for your miserable life. I promise you. If you are done shouting, get out. Get out! I will make you beg for your miserable life. Get out. Come on, get out! You will beg for your life! Get out! She will suffer for this! Get her! Suffer for this! The situation is too bad, but not irredeemable. And he is your husband. Go home. Wait for him to return. He will come back to you. He is your husband. I doubt. I doubt if he will ever forgive me. I doubt if he will ever will. To return home, you talk to him as the wife that you are. He's going to listen to you. Go home? No. I can never go back to that house all alone. I am scared. I am scared of what he would do to me. No. I never. The look I saw in his eyes today, I have never seen, never, I've never seen it. I am scared. I, I am scared. I am deeply scared.
the truth Who do I trust? Trust nobody Oh yeah I've been just thinking you know, of what to do What to do I am going crazy They are like serpent. Trusting them is like trusting a serpent. I have never for once trusted a woman. Not even my mother. If I may understand you, are you in any way implying that I should not trust my wife? Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't said that. But what I'm saying is that there's no harm in trying. Try another hospital. Come on, bro. You... Okay, like what you're saying in essence is this. I should try another doctor. You are like a brother to me. You understand what I'm saying? You just need to, to check another doctor. Let's have another test. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Perfectly okay. You are very much in good condition. You have no fertility problems. Yes. You are very much in good condition. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for this information. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Sam. You're welcome, my brother. You have to do a
And please stop. Stop crying. Tears will not solve anything. You have to put yourself together and move on. He's your husband. He's here. And he will not kill you because you lied to him. I feel like dying. I feel like ending it all. Tell me, how do I face him? How do I face him after all I have made him pass through? How? How do I? How do I heal the wound? I inflicted on his heart. I am not worthy. I am not worthy to be called his wife anymore. I feel like feel like running to far away land where I could just end it all. I want to stop. stop I want to die. Stop it. Stop it. Look, I know how you feel right now. But the deed has been done. All you can do now is pick up your pieces and move on, my friend. Okay, you know what? I'll have to stay here till he returns. At least my presence will help calm him down. So please stop crying. Please. I just pray he returns soon. I need to go back home before my husband comes back. Thank you. For all you have done. Without you. I wonder. There you go again. There you go again. You're only hurting yourself the more. Please do.
to go. My husband has been home since 9 p.m. Look, I wouldn't want to incur his wrath on me. to pull through. Don't worry, it's going to come around. Stop crying. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for, for being there for me. I don't even know what is going on in my head right now.
cuando él se me explicó. anything about the gun, ma'am. <laughs> He's tall. Like six feet tall. But his face was covered. That's all I can remember. He forced you to call the deceased to come over to the hospital that there was an emergency, right? Yes, detective. Did it at any point occur to you that the life of the deceased might be in danger? Maybe you refused placing the call. What would I have done? What else would I have done when I had a gun stuck to my head? He gave me just five minutes to make the call. I am a 
widow. And I have a son and a daughter to take care of. If anything should happen to me, I will. They will suffer. It's okay, mother. It's okay. Calm down. Relax. I need you to take a deep breath. Listen. I need you to remember something. Anything. Anything about the gunman that can help us take him down. Looks every bit a professional job. Did you get any more useful thing from the lady? No. Nothing. She's as useless as that old man over there. She knows nothing apart from being held hostage and knocked out the moment you realize she has placed a call. I wonder why an establishment of this magnitude should have such a man as a security officer. Obviously he was asleep. Or do stuff. When the invader struck and tied him up. Clearly you're not far from the truth. But one thing keeps striking me. Which is? The confidence of the invader. He operated on a very high level of confidence. And that means something. He knows the place too well. And he's no stranger to the hospital. Exactly. He knows the place too well. Or he really took his time to study the whole setup before making his move. Do you think she has enemies? Or a wrong strike? Who doesn't? We all do. Everyone does. Anyways, I have instructed to see all the nurses. Even those who are on morning shift and afternoon shift, they should have something useful to tell us. Mm. That's right. That's right. You have to put your eyes on the ground for every tiny detail. 
and don't forget to be on a lookout for any print. I shall be. Do you think your madam had enemies who will want her dead for any reason? Okay. I wouldn't know about that. My job here is to work and earn my salary. Do you know that as part of this establishment, you're equally a suspect? Jesus. Yes. And can be behind the mother of your madam. God forbid. Hi. No, my hands are clean. I'm not a murderer. Even God in heaven knows that I cannot hurt a fly. What would my madam do to me now that, that would warrant me to hurt her? My hands are clean. Madam. You were on duty yesterday. Yes. Did anything unusual happen in the hospital? Maybe an unusual call about your mother or anything? No. Nothing serious happened. The records of the patient in private what for? Okay, ma. Oh, by the way, what was the noise I heard all about? Ma, I don't know, but um, Nurse Matilda told me um, a patient was quarreling with Dr. Lucia. Quarreling with Dr. Lucia? Yes, ma. Why? I don't know. Ma, Matilda is here. I think she'll be in a good position to tell you what happened. Matilda. Except that um Nurse, Nurse Matilda said that Madame was shouting and quarreling with one man. Yes. Nurse Matilda told you that your madam was quarreling with a man in her office. Yes.
who is this man? He is one of our old clients. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. I should have come home yesterday with you. It's all my fault. I cost everything. I am not worthy to be called your wife anymore. Please, Fide, please, you have to forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> God will give us the strength to be true together. Can you remember what happened and the exact words said to your mother, Master Matilda? Yes, I can. Make you beg for your life. I will make you suffer for this. By the time I am through with you. You will beg for your miserable life. I promise you. If you're done shouting, get out. Get out! I will make you beg for your miserable life. Get out. Out. Come on, get out! You will beg for your life. Get out! You mean he said those words to your mother? After he stormed into her office without following the normal protocols of the hospital. Yes, he did. So, did anyone else at the hospital notice this said activities of this man? as at the time you came to the hospital or are you the only one who did? No, I'm not the only one who did. Some other nurses were there when he barged into the hospital like a madman. They asked me what was wrong and I told them it's like he was having a problem with the doctor. But I couldn't really make out anything from it then. So, tell me. Do you think he killed him, my daughter? I don't know. He, he was so vicious and very, very angry when he was leaving the office. He had... He had this devilish glare in his eyes that made me withdraw in fear. At some point, I... I thought he was going to slap me or even attack me for eavesdropping on their conversation. But he looked in a flash. Do you know this man? Yes. I know him as Mr. Abel. I don't know his surname. He usually 
comes to the hospital with his wife. But I can help you get his surname and his address for my records, if you so wish. Sorry, I startled you. Are you okay? Or is there something you want to tell me? No, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that I didn't have enough sleep last night. You need to calm down. Alright, I am here now. Together we will overcome this. When I married you, I vowed for better for us. Together we overcome this town. I understand you, my dear, but I'm just afraid. I don't want to lose you. If I lose you, I will die. I just want you to be around me. It's alright. Okay? I'm here for you. I promise never to leave you. Your record shows that this couple has been your client for close to like six years. Yes, sir. Mr. and Mrs. Ebelo Kafo, number 15, Hapat Crescent, Opazik Avenue. Has he before yesterday had any form of misunderstanding? with your medical director? Not to my knowledge. Um, the wife is close to my madam. I think she knew how when she was growing up. They are, they are quite close. And is there anyone else? Anyone else who's been falling out with your medical director of late? None that I know. Your medical director and her staff, what is the relationship like? Apart from some disciplinary cautions and stamping her authority as the chief executive of this establishment, our relationship with her is very cordial.
I, after lunch, I had a meeting with my client. I'll be back in the after the meeting. Then I'll run if I can meet. Alright, uh, I'll make your favorite. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Sarah. Hello. Have you seen the news this morning? What news? Dr. Lucia is dead. Huh? What happened? She was shot by an unknown gunman. In front of the no. hospital. Oh no, no, no. Hello. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hello? No! Hello? Are you there? Hello? No! No! Hello? No! 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 Hello? No! No! Are you there? every security agency to brace up to the challenge of safeguarding the lives and properties of the inhabitants of the state. The commissioner made this charge while addressing the men of the official Swift in his office today. was shot dead by an unknown gunman at the premises of a hospital in the early hours of today. The ASP has promised that all will be done to bring to book the perpetrators of this gruesome act. He has further enjoined the general public to go about their normal business as their safety is guaranteed.
Shot by an unknown gunman. Oh no, 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 God, 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 no, 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 this can't be true. No, no, oh, oh. baby, you will pay for this, even if it's the last thing I'm doing. To take anything. Um, Chief, no, I am fine. You are I'm, fine. I'm not feeling too well. Mm -hmm. Hey, Titi. Yes, sir. Hey, go and get me a cup of uh, coffee and a touch of brandy. Yeah? Yes, sir. Maybe I say he doesn't want to take anything. That's his problem. Yeah? Yes, sir. Do it now. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. hey, you can go. Hey, hey Ben. You said you wanted to see me and it's urgent. What is it you wanted? Um, <clears throat> Chief Adwaya. Mm -hmm. Um, it's about the project. See, I am, I am really facing um emotional and um, psychological problem right now. So I, um, I really want you to give me a few weeks to be able to to give you the kind of job I have in mind. I believe uh, if I should take some two weeks off, I will be able to give you something that you'll be proud of. <clears throat> Do you know why I'm going to grant this request of yours? I'll tell you. It is simply because you took this scene as a man without pretense. You came to me. You stood in front of your situation. Hmm? But uh, can I ask you something? Why is your face like this? What are you thinking that is eating you up? Tell me a problem after I may share this a, a problem I've solved. Tell me what is it? Hey. Um, Chief, um, I really wish I could, I could tell you, but um, it's personal. It's between me and my wife. Hmm, only you and your wife. Mm, girl. Uh, now listen, uh, I will give you a uh, few weeks to sort yourself out eh? and take off whatever problem you are having, project and the rest of them. But after that, I will not take any excuse. You. Clean care. Now you can go. Uh, where is Titi? You mean he came back to this house with a blood stained clothes? And they gone? <coughs> Jesus. Sir. Lord have mercy. The more I don't want to believe that he did it, the more it becomes clearer that he did it. If not, what could Dr. Lucia's international passport and her traveling documents do it in our wardrobe. What? Jesus. What could have turned Abel into a cold blooded killer? Oh, no. I don't know. Sarah. I don't know what's happening. I don't understand my life anymore. Sarah, I am scared. I am deeply scared. I don't even know my husband anymore. I don't. I've turned him into a monster. 
It's all my fault, Sarah. And no, fault. it's not your fault. You can't blame yourself for this. I don't know, Sarah. I don't. Oh, no. You can't blame yourself for turning your husband into a heartless, cold blooded killer overnight. No. <laughs> The way it is now, you're no longer safe in this house either. Because Abel can do anything to cover his track, even if it means killing you. Yes, Sarah. Who is there? Madame Nabuari. Yeah. Madam. Hmm? One man, I bring him for this paper. I send an paper bin. Bring it. You can go. Ah, madam. What? Uh, madam. Please listen. I don't have time for your antics this afternoon. Please, if you have anything to say to me, then say it and go. Madam, I'm hungry. I did tell my belly. Never chop since yesterday. Is that why you were behaving like that? No. Don't worry, go. Food will soon be ready. Now go to my dad. I'm finished. Oh. <laughs> And you have to be very careful. I think the best thing to do is to report your findings to the police. Sarah, what are you saying? I should give my husband out as a murderer? No, I won't and I can never do such a thing. I have done enough damages already by pushing him into this. Come on, Sarah. I can't give him out to the law. I can't. That will be the height of my betrayal. I won't. Don't try to justify his actions. Don't. No amount of pain or heartbreak is enough to make us lose our head. Take the law into our hands and turn to cannibals. Your husband is a very dangerous man now. And you are at a high risk if you continue to dwell around him. I'll have to take my leave now. And I suggest you do the right thing. Hand him over to the police. Don't wait to be an accomplice. You sent for me, boss. <laughs> yes. I have good news for you. Is it about your son? No, far from it. Sit down. 
This one is bigger. I'm in the list of medical doctors selected to be honored at the prestigious medical conference coming up in the next three months in Lisbon. Wow, <laughs> that's great news. Mm -hmm. And it calls for serious celebration. Yes. <laughs> anyway, boss, I have never doubted your capabilities and prowess in this field, man. I wish you more grace. Thank you. Well done, boss. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> You look worried, Chief. Hope all is well. I'm fine. It's just a little unpleasant thought. Flooding sad memories of past years. Living every day without knowing we are my spies. Without knowing what he's doing. How he's coping. What is happening to him right now? All these thoughts have been the highest torture in my life. I wish I could just wake up one morning and watch my son walk straight into my hands and call me mother. Son, someday very soon it is going to happen. And when it happens, it's going to be a wonderful reunion. But for now, boss, I want you to take those thoughts off your mind. Especially those thoughts of the unknown. You know what they are going to do to your beautiful face? They will put some wrinkles on it and pain to your soul. I would like you to go home. I'll take a rest. I'll take care of the office. Thank you, Matron. You are not just an employee. You are my best friend and confidant. Thank you. Thank you, boss. <laughs> So we're not meant to be. Rest in peace, Dr. Lucia. Till we meet to part no more. Do what is supposed to be done. I would not want to see you on the wrong side of the law. Not for marriage, not for love, not for any reason. I will be on my way. over this how did I allow myself to get this far 
I should have controlled myself. Now I have done what I swore that I would never do in my life. God, please forgive me. Get to find out the truth about this whole thing. He will not. So we'll pay for this. Even if it's the last thing I'm doing, explain it. Them say they want to see your gun. You can go. Okay, my love. You said you wanted to see my husband. Who are you? And why do you want to see him? Where did your husband go? <laughs> um, you. You have to tell me who you are first. If I tell you my husband's movements and his activities, I don't know you. I am Detective Tony Stevens. And this is my second, Jen Azo, from the Police Criminal Investigation Department. Where did your husband go to? He, he went to attend to a client. But well, you'll be back soon. Oh, I see. What a beautiful place you've got here. Can you come inside? For what? Uh, we want to have a friendly chat with you. Over a situation I am very aware that you know of. It's obvious you've been crying for a while now. It's also understandable to mourn a friend. A very close one at that. What a sad and painful way to die. Shot dead in cold blood by an unknown gunman. Can we come in and talk about this? Madam, were you aware that your husband stormed to the office of the late Dr. Lucia yesterday and threatened to deal with her? In his words, he said, I will make you beg for your miserable life. No, not at all. Where was your husband between the hours of 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. Um, in this house. With me. On our bed. Are you having problems with your husband? Any form of problem at the moment? No, detective. You've been married with him for close to eight years now, without a child. 
That is a very big challenge that can lead to some sort of problems between any couple. Don't you agree? It can. You're right. But not in our case. Abel and I love each other so much. And we understand our situation mutually. 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 I love that word. So what can you tell us about your husband? Using such words on the deceased the same day she was shot dead. He happens to be our prime suspect. What could it be that he has with the leg doctor that attacked her in the office? That is all I know. We are just her client. We do not have any business with her. Can we search the house? Search? I thought it was meant to be a mere friendly conversation. Are you in any way thinking that my husband and I have a hand in this? No. She is too close to us for us to harm her. Just a routine check. Nothing more. Oh. Are you hiding something? Do you have a warrant? Mother, I cannot badge him on your privacy without a warrant. Like we said before, your husband happens to be our prime suspect. And just so you know, we are not here to fool around. Mother. Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, don't worry. You <laughs> You are not allowed to move around until we are done here. Are you clear? Yes. Can we see the bedrooms? Uh, yeah. Yes. 
No. Um. You want to say something? Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Can you see the rooms now? Like you just sweated it out. Oh. Oh? That's quite ungentlemanly to ignore the compliment coming from a classy lady. Oh, okay, okay. Are you going my way? Hello, are you going my way? I just want you to help. Hello? Are you going my way? Hello? Hello, I just want you to help.
Honey, I'm home. What is it, Daddy? You look broken. What is it that is troubling you? Tell me what happened. She was murdered in cold blood earlier this morning. And don't you stand there and pretend to me like you do not know what happened. What are you talking about? How? What you mean, um, I should just start and pretend. As if I don't know Dr. Lucia is dead. How will I know about that? How will I know Dr. Lucia will stay and pretend I don't know about it? The police were here earlier. Police? Why? They need you in the station for questioning. Mr. Abel Okafo, why did you kill Dr. Lucia Ezioke who happens to be your family doctor for over five years now?
God's sake, I didn't hurt you! I didn't kill this woman. We were really between the hours of 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. this morning. What's in my house? This is how look out for. As it sounds, you are a suspect. I could not believe my eyes. Sarah, if you had not seen that bag and the content in it when you visited, then I would have thought I was hallucinating. bag in the wardrobe disappeared just like that. And something very big and sinister is going on. Are you sure your husband did not come back to the house at some point and took the bag away? No. No! Okay. The police came immediately you left. No one visited. No one. I personally dropped that bag in that wardrobe before I went downstairs. I did! I don't even know what to believe anymore. I'm even so scared to return to my own house. And the worst of it all is that my husband behaves as if the bag does not exist. He has never said a single word or shown a sign about coming to the house with such a deadly material. <sighs> this is serious. This is serious. If I am to keep my sanity, I must. I can't stand this anymore, knowing that I may be living under the same roof with a cold blooded murderer as a husband. Am I not risking being harmed if he discovers that I know? He can't harm me. If I tell him that Sarah knows too, he can't.
Are you looking for something? Yes. Yeah, um, where have you been? I'm actually looking for the bag I came back with this money. The bag? Yes. But you took it away. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? How can I take a bag away and come back to look for it? How did your invitation at the police go? It went well. A couple of questions on, on why I threatened Dr. Lucy. They believe they have a hand in, in her death. I wonder why on earth such thoughts would come to their head at the first place. The last thing I ever do or think of is to kill Dr. Lucy. That I can never do. Really? What did you say? Really? Did you just say that? Are you in any way thinking I have a hand in Dr. Lisa's death? Huh? Where did you tell the police you were last night? Up until this morning? I... I told the police I was in my bedroom. On this bed with my wife. Lies. Lies. All lies. You lied to the police to save yourself from being in their nets as Dr. Lucia's murderer. How many more lies will you tell me and the police before this whole horror will be over? How? Jesus Christ. Did you just say what I had? Are you anyway anyway suspecting me? Abel, tell me the truth. I am your wife. Tell me everything. I will listen to you. Abel, why did you have to do that? Why did you do it? Why did you go that far? I saw everything. The blood stain on the shirt. The international passport. The traveling documents. The money. The gun. I saw everything in there. Why did you have to do that? Why? Why?
Tracy, I have to run along now. It's getting too late. My wife is at home and she's going to get worried. Hmm? <laughs> After you. No way. Not until you have had a bottle of drink with me. How can I say thank you to a perfect handsome gentleman who took the risk of helping me out? Please, oh. just take one. Um, Tracy. Looking at me, you see, I am almost done. I've had enough drink for the day. All right, I have to be on my way. I okay, fine. You can go after the drink, but why the rush? Besides, you are mobile, so you can still go anytime you like. Please, let's go. I'll walk with you. I'm sorry for this direction. Sorry. Go down the first corridor. First room by the left. Thank you. Go and walk with you. Why you want to go home? I don't know happening places in this town, like a good club. There is, of course. You want to dance? Yes. I want more than that with this super cute guy like you around me. 
I obviously want more. Just enough. You will never forget in your heart. You serious? Oh, thank you. That's my man. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's have a toast. So a long lasting friendship. I have for the day. I have to be on my way. I need to leave now. It just makes me. Up. Not until you've dropped me off at the back. You know I don't know my way around here. And it will not be easy for me to get a car. It's too early. Oh, uh, that's not possible. You I need to leave. Or uh, better still, you can call call the reception, they will get you a car before you fraction. You know. Honey, please. Don't do this to me. Please. Um, okay, fine. The receptionist can get a cabman for me. But the cabman might waste time and I'll miss the boss. Mm. Please, okay. Just this one last favor. Please. <laughs> Please. Don't be fast about fortune. Thank you.
God, please do not allow anything to happen to him, God. God, please. I can't bring myself to bear the guilt of killing a man. God. Not after what? Not after the incident of the past few hours. Oh, God. God, are you punishing me for my waywardness? Please forgive me. Forgive me and save his life. If not for a personal relationship with her, I will not touch him for anything. He's a total stranger to you, and you could be in serious danger just by helping him. Greg, what you have had me do? To abandon him at the roadside, to bleed to death? you and I safe and make sure you get a police report before it becomes necessary. I forgot to tell you something important already. Which is? It was my car I that man. I see him like now. Sure. He murdered my friend in cold blood. He must surely pay for this. I am calling the police right away. He must be made to pay. That may not be possible. That's a big problem. What? Apart from the missing bag. I went back to the hospital and um And what? He's nowhere to be found. He left the hospital without anybody's notice. I came for something very important. Of course I know. I know that old ego can never leave its nest for nothing. It must be something serious. It has to do with the mother of Dr. Luzia yesterday. I got curious and was wondering if God wanted you on this case. So, I decided to pay a friendly visit. All ties. 
Old ties can never be forgotten. She happens to be your ex-wife. So I understand the concern. I needed things to be unraveled fast. I need to know the idiot that got drunk enough to kill her. I want whoever it is to pay for his deeds. You are it. Try. I want you to be assured of that. We will do everything, everything humanly possible. I sure have no choice than to get him. Rest now. You won't do gently, you won't do both, you won't get up. The only problem they get with you, you could walk, they walk, they walk, they stress yourself, just look your body. You don't go rest. Ah, my go, I'm not getting sure for this way they do. You know they make me happy. Because if you say you did rest, you could make me happy. You could get injury, rest now, problem. Make I go your cab and go bring your laptop. On to wait, on to this level where you did. Why you want to press the laptop? Which strength, which hand? I, I don't understand. Most times, we be able to think maybe I'm a worry woman, boy. Because I don't understand most times, you're too worried. Like, I don't just believe the kind, the kind word where you're worried. I wonder why your mama can't be like giving. It's so sad, you know, give. No, stand up. Jet Lee. Jet Lee, stand up. Amanda. Amanda. Yes, so sorry. Really, cool, sir. What did I call you before? Because you didn't worry. As in, you don't change my name. Mm -hmm. Amanda. It's so, better now you talk to you about me. See. Are you at the top to you? Yes, yes, she, she make I just tell you. If I go down your cabin, go carry that laptop. You know, see, it's really worry. Not be sad, go carry the laptop. Go here. You go call tell me, make I help you the presser. Make I do this one. And that place, me, you go enter what trouser. You know, so I tell you. That's why most times I will sit there. Now you go to call me. Now you go to make me the verse. I will go and pick her and come. No use and disturb me. Hey, hey. I will tell you to make you press my hand. What is Sabi inside? Is Sabi right to me? Look, I'm going to tell you finish. I Sabi, I know Sabi. I go to school, I go to school. She be still love me like that. But I don't tell you. If I walk out and call, no use and disturb me. I'm going to blame myself with the money to friend you. You know what? Never have to say fine girl like me to friend you. That's me. That's me. All the children like my life. I can go laugh and shout. You helped unknowingly is now at large. Who knows? 
There is every possibility that he came for the bag. Or being sent by one of his allies. I feel so cold now. Trying to recollect how I fought to save his life. Not knowing he just took the life of another. Excuse me. Hello, Sarah. Anne, I have something confidential to show you. You have to come right away and please tell no one about it. Yes, not even your husband, please. I don't trust no one now as it is now. Please just come. Remember, tell no soul about it. All right, I'll be right over now. Please, just hurry, just hurry. Who's that? Sarah. What does she want? She didn't tell me anything. She only asked me to come over. I'll be right back. Do you have any knowledge of who your auntie was speaking to before she asked you to return to the house? No. I don't know any. Tell me, is there anything you can remember that can help us get to the root of what happened to your auntie? No. No, I can't. <laughs> Oh. How's she? How's my wife? She's stable, man. Okay? I just need you to calm down and put yourself in. Can I say her like this one? No. I just told you she is fine. You can't see her now. You need to give her a little while before you can see her, okay? to join us with the husband of the deceased to the station for questioning. Can you guys have a me again? Just a friendly invitation, Mr. Abel. Mr. Do you think your wife will have any reason to commit suicide as the event suggests? My wife cannot commit suicide. She can't even hurt a fly. She, 
He's not a violent person. Do you think your wife has enemies? Or maybe he stumbled on something that made the killer of Lucia to come after her? Her suicide note claims that she was sorry to have killed Lucia. Officer, can't you see that this is a deliberate act by the real killer to go back to the search for him? Or oh. oh, maybe my wife stumbled on something. Yes, because she was very close to her. And she had been worried sick ever since the death of Lucy. I don't even know what to say. I'm confused, officer. I don't know what to say. Is that it Your wife was found at the scene of the crime, unconscious. Were you aware that her late friend called her? Yes. I was with my wife when he called Kimu for my late friend. She left him there. Did she tell you why she called? She left me the and promised to come back in no time. I greeted her and I died a number. It was really that nobody was speaking. I became worried. I decided to call her late friend. But her number was switched off. So I was... I was thinking of what to do before I call came into my phone telling me that my wife was rushed to the hospital. So I called him. Dr. Craig. He's a friend. He called me immediately saw my wife at the hospital. Is that a Where were you between the time your wife left the house and the time you were called that she was in the hospital? I was with a friend. Can we know this friend? Are you sure you are telling us the truth? Officer, I have no reason to lie to you. I was with him before he got the call, and immediately he rushed to the hospital. But before then, he was so worried. So worried because he was unable to reach the wife. What do you make out of all this situation? The dead lady is obviously not our killer. But whoever it is, has a very strong motive that is still very far from our reach, and which has a strong connection with the inside the local for his wife. The dead lady obviously stumbled on something that made the killer take her out, and intelligently created a small screen to cover his tracks. 
we no doubt have a very, very intelligent killer on the loose here. And we must do something fast to track him down before he strikes again. Super right. and start screaming. Maybe she had a terrible nightmare. Please, uh, I will advise you to let her be for now. Please, you can't afford to compound her problems. Just wait outside. Please. I'll call the doctor to attend to her. Please, please, please save me. I don't, I don't want to drop my hands. I don't want to drop my hands. I don't want to go. 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 He's going. He's going. frequent nightmares, she'll be seeing things, images, but hopefully she will get better within days or maybe hours, you know, can tell. Doctor, yes. you mean my wife will be well again? Yes. Greg, what I saw in there, the mood I saw my wife in there scared the living the night out of me. She acted like a monster. I pray she pushed through. But I want to ask, can this lead to madness? It can, but in extreme cases. Jesus. Not, not all the time. God have mercy. This can lead to madness? Relax. Jesus Christ. God have mercy. It can lead to madness? In extreme cases, like I said. Okay? Hmm. I'm relieving you of your duty to go home. I need you to take out time and rest. Pull yourself out from whatever that has happened. Okay? Listen. <laughs> It wasn't your fault. There was absolutely nothing you can do now that will be strong for your late aunt. Okay? Yeah. Assist the police in whatever way you can to bring the killer of your aunt to justice. Whatever thing you can. Okay. But most importantly, please. Rest. Okay? Okay. Thank you, sir.
I don't want to believe that what I'm about to tell you has anything to do with my auntie's death. But I have to tell you, I was on a night shift when a young man was brought into the emergency unit of our hospital. Which young man? Where's the doctor? This way, this way. Thank God. Thank God you 
made it. Just be calm. Don't move yourself. Let me get it out. What? What happened to me? You were involved in an accident. I was brought in here by a good Samaritan. But just relax. Okay, don't move yourself. Let me get the doctor. Please, I'm coming. Thank you. Um. Where is it? Where is the patient you said regain consciousness? Sir, he was here on his bed before I came to inform you. But I can't find him! Is this a joke or something? that you know anything, anything at all, or have a hand in this. Tosan, I will not only sack you, I will make sure that no medical outfit in this country ever employs you. I promise you that. Plus, I will hand you over to the police. Trust me, I will. Sir, I swear. I swear with my life, if you discover that I have anything to do with that disappearance of that young man, do to me whatever you want, sir. So I mean no sense. Don't clean up that word. Okay, sir. When I went to clean the wall. I saw something on the floor.
why didn't you hand over what you said to your parents or to any other person? I went to my boss' office, but he wasn't in. I relaxed since no one talked about the incident again all day. But when I returned to the house later that night, I met my auntie in a very worried state. You didn't touch your dinner. Is everything all right? No, sir. All is not well. All is not well, Tosan. All is not well. My best friend is in trouble. Your best friend? Anne? Does he have anything to do with the husband? Yes. Do you know anything about it? Nothing really serious. It's just that he brought a guy to the hospital about 4 a.m. The guy was admitted and then he left. Then, then something strange happened at the hospital. What happened? The guy he brought in for treatment suddenly disappeared. No one saw him again. He please just left the house. <laughs> the bag is no longer in the wardrobe. Tosan, can you recognize this guy? Do you know what he looks like? Can you place his face? I can I can't really remember. Because everything happened so fast. But Auntie, why do you ask? To son, son, something evil is going on. Something bad is happening. Just, I can't place my finger on this, but I'm sure it has to do with Ethel. 
My friend Anne is in serious trouble. She's in danger and needs to be helped. Oh my God, that guy, that guy that left the hospital is very dangerous. It's either he's the one that killed Dr. Lucia or he's working with Abel, Anne's husband. Wait, wait, wait. There was, there was something I, I picked from under his bed when I went to clean the ward. I wanted to hand it over to my boss, but he wasn't around till I closed for work. To somewhere is it? Can I see it? Yes. We saw some pictures and other stuffs contained in the memory card. My auntie confirmed the picture of the guy admitted at the hospital as the same guy she saw around her friend's place. But I couldn't make anything out of it because she never told me anything else again. Do you still have the items in your possession? Take me. We try this. To do. What you call me? What you call me? Who is that?
is the wall. What have you come to do in my house by this time of the night? Young detective. Hold it! I did not ask you to turn. Answer me the way you are. I'm very little sick. Come, Brent. I mean, no uh... harm. Turn around. I know you've been stalking around, sniffing for information. Don't you think it's unlawful and risky to sneak around the case the police is already handling? You know the rules, so there's absolutely no need me educating you on it. If you do not stay clear of the investigation, I may be forced to pick you up for obstructing police duties. So stay clear and allow us to do our job. Young man, you better go and do your job and stop sounding like a broken old record. When I was at your age, I do more and talk less. The dead woman was my wife, ex or not. I have a way of burying my dead. Allow me to bury my dead. Around. We had a shootout, but I lost him. Okay, hang around. I'm coming over. Go and make yourself useful. Sergeant Misa.
Right. I would advise you keep a little distance from her. She will soon get over the shock and return back to normal. Okay? By the way, have you heard from the young man that you brought the other night that vanished into thin air? It's part of my problem right now. If I must solve the puzzle of that night, I must find that boy. How do you mean?
do you want me to have access to my son? Why? Because we rejected him. And we are not there when he needed me. Complete now. Mm. But man asks you, all this medicine you they buy, you should say never once start my family for this Algeto area. <laughs> How can we fall and die? If I fall they worry you. If I open my turn, it's about it. I'm good business now. Anyway, see this particular one, I'll not be me one user. I want my friend will get injury. I ain't one user. Eh? Yeah. I ain't one user. Okay, well, not me go heal him, sha. My god, man go heal him here. Yeah. Wow. Chemist, now who that gave you? Ha! Who know now Amanda for this ghetto area? See, that girl you see, now one of the most likable girl for this area. Really? Baba, this guy, I will do like girl. Sure, say no, don't say don't like that girl. See, I tell you, that girl, if you kill you overnight for bed, though. I bet I will sleep now where I should be staying. Not for my son, or not for me. Ah, that one will be a problem now. But this is your call. Every time, wah, 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 wah. why no one do something for this your call? <coughs> See, I tell you, I get better medicine, better medicine. What we say if you use for this your call, you go to pursue your call as Buhari the pursue with, with corruption. <coughs> better do something before this call go kill you.
She's not fit to live, Father.
pray. Why are the tears? Did anything happen? Congratulations, my brother. Your result shows negative. And I believe so should be your mate. We are very sorry for the pain this might have caused you and your friend. There was a mix-up from our lab technicians. The result wasn't hers. It was someone else's result. She's not HIV positive. We are so sorry for whatever this might have cost you psychologically. We are so sorry. And, uh, 
she gave me she gave me a future she gave me a reason to live again This woman took her life. She killed her. With her, with her evil carelessness. Gotta tell me how, how could one be that care? receive an award as an outstanding medical practitioner. And I said to myself that that will never happen. For I tell me, how can one be honored for killing the only woman that I've ever meant to them? The only woman The health sector of the country recorded another milestone yesterday as three Nigerians made the list of African doctors to be honored at the prestigious International Medical Conference in Lisbon, Portugal. In the list are Dr. Kayode Williams of Secret Heart Hospital, Lagos, Dr. Mrs. Lucia Ezuki of Living Spring Hospitals, Enugu, Dr. Mbisi Mbisi of Kingston Orthopedic and International Hospital, Abuja. This cannot happen. I cannot leave and watch her being rewarded for killing my wife. No. She cannot be rewarded for killing the only woman has made me happy. You will pay for this. Dr. Lucier is okay. You will pay for this. I promise you, you will pay.
trying to keep my car. No. Play. Is it my turn? Is it? No, mine. Uh, play. No, play. Oh, really? Let me just like. Just I'm, like. I'm pitting you. And um, finally, Morning, the game is over. Hold on. You holding on? Yeah, I'm holding on. <laughs> and you pick two. Okay. Yes. And I don't know that hold on. Are you holding on? Sure. General market, last card. Don't look it. You messed up. It's I, a lie. Alice. It's a lie. I'm going to check it. Watch, 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 watch. No, look here. Look at what you're playing. What's that? I've won. That's a lie. You're doing it. Help. I won. I won. It's a lie. Hey! You're doing it. What's that? You're doing it. What's it? Please don't mean I don't like you. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. How? Do you play on me? How can I play on my angel? Seriously. What's what? You know what you did now? Huh? What did I do? No, you know. You know what you did. Played on me. And this is not the first time. Are you saying that? Mm hmm. Let me go. What? Hey! Stop it. There's an emergency at the at the hospital and you're needed. Ma, I'm afraid you have to come. I can't handle handle it. Please ma come. Come to the hospital. Okay, ma. Close your eyes.
Sorry for not holding your hands. Father, so, take me. Take me to jail. Thank you for letting us crack this case. I'm sorry for your wife and son. You know, it's quite difficult for one to find himself in such a situation. I hope you pull through the ghosts. Yes, but 
before you see her, one more very important news. What is it? I can't believe it. So you're pregnant? After all this years. And come to think of it, now for a period. <laughs> It's like a dream to me. But this is one dream I don't ever want to wake up from. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. mm. <laughs> <laughs> 